With all the problems plaguing Earth at the moment, it's very tempting to look for a new home. Global pandemics, climate change, and chronic wars are all challenges that humans have instigated on our home planet. You can't blame our race for wanting a fresh start. It's well known that both NASA and private space agencies are looking to start colonies outside of our own atmosphere starting with the Moon and then moving to Mars. But is there somewhere a little further afield that has all the elements needed to sustain us and potentially to sustain us in a future away from our home planet? In fact, the planet that we're talking about is officially a moon, even if it's the size of a dwarf planet. This is Titan, which is in fact larger than the planet Mercury despite its moon status. Only Ganymede, one of Jupiter's many moons, clocks in as larger, albeit only by 2%. Titan instead orbits Saturn as the largest of a huge 82 moons that the ringed planet has. But what sets Titan apart from these and other moons in our solar system is the potential for it to house life. The first significant feature of the giant moon is that you wouldn't need a pressurized spacesuit to stand on the surface like you would other celestial bodies in our solar system. This is because Titan has an atmosphere which adds an additional protective layer for us humans. This atmosphere is composed of 95% nitrogen and 5% methane. As you might have spotted, it's not breathable, so we'd still need oxygen masks, at least until we built oxygen-rich accommodation to house us. The other thing that will set us back a bit for jumping straight into living on Titan is the temperature. It's around 1.5 billion kilometers away from the sun. If you compare that to the fact that we're 150 million kilometers away from it now, you can see how it might be a bit chilly. Earth's average temperature on the Kelvin scale is 290 Kelvin, in comparison to Titan's 94 Kelvin or minus 179 degrees centigrade. However, what is prime for life are the chemical compounds found on the Moon's surface. Although Titan is far too cold to feature liquid water, there are thick sheets of ice present on the dwarf planet. This means there's potential for humans to use this as water if needed, and added to that, Titan also has clouds, rain, rivers, lakes, and seas of liquid hydrocarbons like methane and ethane. These bodies of hydrocarbons are significant in their size and more importantly hold the building blocks for life as we know it, or even life as we don't. Even if Titan's atmosphere and temperature are far from perfect, what sets it apart from other celestial bodies in our solar system is that it holds the chemical elements needed for life. If we can harness these, we could be prepping Titan as a potential new home. Yes, the lakes that are seen on Titan are far from Earth-like. Instead of water, there are huge bodies of methane and ethane, the largest of which is known as Kraken Mare. This lake was discovered by the probe Cassini in 2008 and was named after the famous fictional sea creature. It's so large that it contains an archipelago of islands. It's also so big that astronomers have estimated its depth to be 1,000 feet and for it to be bigger than all five great lakes on Earth combined. And this isn't even the measurement from the middle of the lake. The data the astronomers used comes from echoes from radar waves sent by Cassini 600 miles above Titan. These radar waves concluded that the middle of the lake was too deep to take an accurate measurement from, so instead they used an estuary located at the Kraken Mare's northern end called Moray Sinus. This is where they got their 1,000-foot figure from. Kraken Mare contains around 80% of Titan's liquids, and it's been debated whether it would be a useful exercise to send a submarine probe to the moon for further in-depth exploration. As these lakes may contribute to the potential for life, this may well be a worthwhile opportunity to see if current estimates are correct and maybe even discover more about the moon's vast quantity of liquid. There could even be more methane hiding just under the surface, and scientists have a theory that this is why the moon is able to complete a methane cycle, just as we have a water cycle on Earth. Titan consistently rains methane from the sky, feeding the lakes and seas near the poles. However, this methane should go missing fairly quickly in the atmosphere, so a potential solution is that it's hiding, and we just haven't found it yet. Experts have run the simulation, and the data checks out. The next step is to prove that this is the case, but this is going to take a Titan-bound surface probe to prove for sure. Regardless of where the methane is coming from, it's essential in maintaining the nitrogen-rich atmosphere that sets it apart from other moons and makes it so much more appealing to use down on Earth. 
It's the source of hydrocarbon hazes, which absorb solar infrared radiation and warm the stratosphere by approximately 100 degrees Celsius, both of which are essential for potentially sustaining life. It's also the source of hydrogen, whose molecular collisions result in a 20 degree warming in the troposphere. Methane is integral to this whole process. If it were ever to run out, that would mean disaster for any kind of dream of us living there one day. Temperatures would drop, nitrogen gas would condense into liquid droplets, and the atmosphere would collapse. Everything that makes it a unique moon and similar to our planet would cease to exist. Its smog and clouds would vanish. The methane rain liquid cycle would stop. Lakes, puddles, and streams would dry up, as would the Kraken mare we mentioned earlier. And with all of this gone, Titan's stark surface would then be able to be seen by telescopes rather than the haze we're treated to today. Its air would be thin, and the surface dry, just like most moons in our solar system. Titan is far from a planet that's ready for us to descend upon and living on right away. But if we continue developing technology at the rate we are and can make up its shortfalls for human life, then there's definitely potential for it to be a new home. Do you think it could be our new home? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Brain Impact for more. Thanks for watching.